Aren't they? Yeah. Little fluff balls, oh or some, I mean, some of them more fluffy than others. Yeah. So we have. There's seven pups total plus mama, and then we have four of our own. So 12 dogs right now. Oh. Hey, Twisted Gray. And four girls and three boys. So two of the whites are boys and two of the blacks are girls. The brown is a girl and then there's one white girl and one black boy. Oh my god, they're so adorable. Careful. Careful. So at this point, three are pre-adopted. Oh, perfect. Uh oh, someone's on their belly. Someone's on their belly. Let's see, remember we get that on camera. Yeah, I remember. There we are. Yeah, I remember. Totally 30 puppies. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. a lot. Most we've had in our house at once was 21. Wow. We had had, back then it was only Athena and Artemis. And then we had had a mama that had had seven puppies, and they were five weeks old. That was Perdita and our 101 Dalmatian litter. Oh. And, and then our foster coordinator said, hey, we're going to transfer the pups out on Friday. This was a Tuesday. And she's like, we're transferring the pups out on Friday. We have your next pregnant mama arriving tomorrow. <laughs> So, oh, and wow. so so we got we got the new mama on Wednesday yeah. and she was closer than they thought because she gave birth to 10 on Thursday. So we had our two back then we only had two of our own permanents. We had our two and we had uh, mama plus seven and mama plus five. <laughs> My goodness gracious. Oh, and DJC from California has joined us as well. Ow, ow, ow. Careful. No, no biting the ankle. No biting the ankle. Yeah. And how old are these puppies? Seven weeks, five days. No, seven weeks, four days, because it's Tuesday is their birthday. Oh, my goodness gracious. Ow. I yes. said no biting beneath my ankles, a little stinker. Yeah. I'm forgetting where to twisted gray lives, but DJC's in California. Yeah. And then DJC's uh -huh. mother would frequently join in on the streams, and oh, DJC's mother was in uh, South Africa, wow. if I recall correctly. Nice. My goodness. Yeah, we had quite that little international thing going there for a while. So adorable. I was just getting to play on my trip, missing my dog. So, you know. Excellent timing. Yeah, it does. That's why when Caitlin says, Do you want to go? I said, Hi, cool. I said, I'm on my way. Hi. 
Yeah, well, once these guys go, we're going to be on hiatus for a bit. We have some travel coming up. Nice. Where are you headed? Um, Florida and South Carolina. Cool. And in between the two of those trips, I also have a conference. Okay. <laughs> so we're going we're gonna to be at, okay, so Twisted Gray is also California. So DJC and Twisted Gray are both California. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, I've got, oh, I'm standing right in front of the camera. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're getting to watch my butt. There you go. Um, oops. Um, but yeah, I've got a conference in between that, so we'll be on hiatus for about a month. Okay. They're just so fun. Yep. So this one over here, this, this guy is the oldest. Yeah. And he was, he was actually born in the car on the way to our house. My goodness. Hey, Mama. Like, everybody's got to have an adventure. You know? Yep. Everybody's got to have an adventure. Everybody else was born on camera. I was able to get Mama home without her birthing anymore in my car. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was actually hoping for it, though. I've had, I've had it happen to plenty of other people, yeah. just not to me yet, so we were sort of expecting it. We knew she was very close. I'd had seven other puppies in the house oh, yeah. that morning, and we were, we were trying to get right. their, we were trying to get their fosters to come get, we were separating to two different fosters, and we were trying to get them in and get them picked up so that we can get that we could get ma Mama before she gave birth, and got close. You know, it was okay. First fosters arrived. Second fosters arrived. Okay, house is clear. I'm driving to the halfway point, letting them know I'm on my way. They're leaving, and I'm sit. I, I was already at the halfway point, waiting when I got a call saying, "Okay, they're going to be a little bit late. Pull over to the side of the road because puppy number one is here." Uh. Yeah. And so then when they made it here, when they made it to the halfway point, um, the, it was a pickup truck. We had had, and the puppy had fallen in between the seat and the door, so we oh, had to be no. very careful oh, and yeah. making sure the puppy didn't fall Tiny. to the ground. Tiny. But I had had a puppy pool in my car all, all set up, okay. so we transferred Mama, and, you know, I was wondering if I was going to get more while I was driving. Okay. So little mouthy, but that's normal for puppies yeah, at this age. Thing. She especially is a little <laughs> mouthy yeah. inside. Hi. I love this color. Yep. I like gray blue. Yeah. And that's so very beautiful. Their paws are pretty good size, so. Yep. <laughs> You're so mom, be mom, mom, mom is 50 pounds. Oh, hi. Okay. Mama's, Mama's 50 pounds, so we expect pups, you know, probably be 40 to 60, but it's rescue. We never know who Daddy is. Daddy could have been a Chihuahua. Daddy could have been a Great Dane. Yeah. Yeah. So, and we had litters. I don't know, I don't know, Kathleen, if you had been started on one of our, our, our first litter that we had done on did. Reddit yeah. was, um, was the, um, Set was the zombies litter, but the second litter was the tales of Arcadia right. puppies. Uh, I think which were the orphans. We got on with like Encanto. Okay, so you were about litter. a year in, but with the with the um, tales of Arcadia puppies growing up, the puppies ranged in grown weight from forty five pounds to ninety pounds. Wow! And he's a lean ninety. My goodness, I and mean, that's I double weight. Yeah. Of course, we also, um, Basil's litter, Basil was not this January, but the previous January. Yeah. Her litter, she was this, she was 18 pounds pregnant. Mm -hmm. And first pup came and all that was sticking out was this much of one paw. I couldn't get it out, so we rushed them to the ER Hi, get, to get x-rays because we didn't think the puppies were going to fit out the birth canal. And the pups all made it. Um, so that pup was stuck there for a while, but eventually managed to get out, and all the pups were tight fits. 
and by uh, what we, we saw one of the puppies as it was getting on transport to the doctor in the Northeast, and it was about three and a half months old at that point. It was already 36 pounds. Wow. Mom, Mama was 18 with five puppies. Yeah. Oh. So you know Daddy was so a I much bigger dog. Yeah. Right. That's definitely the case. They're, they're so cute. Each of them, it's just, you know, a slight difference. Yep. Yeah, they're very it's always yeah. nice when you can tell them apart. Yeah. You know, back when back when we had the RPAM streams, it was always amazing to me that some of our viewers, accomplished wolf, well, always an atheist, yeah. knew the puppies apart visually right better, than, better than I did. Yeah. 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 Oh my goodness, they're just adorable. Yeah. They're so cute. So how much do you think the light one or the this one can weigh? So right he, he he's the he's the biggest. Again, my guess is forty to sixty pounds grown up, yeah. but it's only a guess. Yeah. What do you think no, he's right right now? No, um the last time we weighed him he was nine odd pounds. I can get a scale and we can find no, out. I was just curious because I just he, got a dog. Okay. Just two he, year old. He's, he's probably I'm guessing eleven pounds now, maybe twelve. Yeah. But we can grab a scale if you want. Yeah. No, I just was I was just trying to compare you know, my my dog to he's just you know, nine, a little over nine pounds. But she's got probably, you know, three pounds of that is <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. These just don't do it right now. They're soft they are. I know. Okay, so so sorry. So now sorry. I see why we can't go shoot. Yeah, because they eat them. They, that's the, that's, the, that's them. their toy. Yep, that, that, they like chewing on feces. Yeah. Uh, and so we want to we minimize the risk of any diseases being yeah. transmitted. Yeah. They've had their first round of shots and they get a oh, ouch, nice. ouch, ouch, ouch. A second round. Ow, ow, let go, let go. Let go, little stinker. They get second round on Tuesday. No. Okay. Do you name them? Yes. Now they rarely they rarely keep their names with their oh. adopters, but oh. they all get they all get named. They do um like movie theme. And we we theme, know, we, like... we theme our litter, so this is our turning red litter. Oh my goodness. So we've got Maylin and Priya and Ping and Miriam. Actually, no, Miriam wasn't available, um, so we had to switch that. Um, and Robert and Tyler and Jen. So much skin here to move. Go oh, into. I know. There's <laughs> just, you know, you just go, oh, well, two more weeks and this will be tight again. And then you'll stretch it out again and, yeah, and stretch it out. Oh, pretty little face. Great markings. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Look how big these paws are. Oh, oh I know. know. <laughs> just, just. I'm too sweet. I'm too sweet. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. So glad you noticed. Yeah. So glad you noticed. Yeah. Oh, this is yeah. really fun. Yeah, hi, baby. Hi. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Well, yeah. that was not my fault. <laughs> no, that, that, that was the piece of kibble in its mouth. Yep. I can't mold it to ask. <laughs> Get play and jump and eat at the same time. Eat it and chew. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mom's gonna take a break for a minute and listen to the wind. Yep. Boy, it's been windy the last few days. Yeah. Definitely. I just you come here. You can see us. Yeah. 
Hey, Michelle. Some visitors socializing, some of our other Redditors. I know. I just was trying to figure out my contortionist mode. Oh, don't down. Yeah, I'll let you down. Hi, sweetie. Hello. 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 Oh, is it getting nap time now, too? Yeah, she's the one that always goes off for the first nappy. I see. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Michelle, you're going to run, 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 pass out. Run, 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 pass out. Yeah. Go tear off all your plants and then. Yep. Hey. Ah. It's fun when they just sit their butt down in the water bowl. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. They don't even care. Oh. You don't care. Okay. You're doing okay, Will Bear. Shows going good. We just opened the last night uh, when it rolls. Um, it went really well. Excellent. It's a company coming in from Sydney, Australia. Dang. And yeah, it's really a unique piece. Cool. So house was full. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's good. It's good. <laughs> Three of them are pre adopted. Oh, nice. One to the northeast and two local so far. Okay. And one is going to a former fo uh, a foster of Atticus, so staying in the Atticus family. Okay. Oh. I know that sounds perfect. Huh. Hey. Hey. Have you done DNA tests? No. Dudes? Nope. Is that something you commonly do? It's, if they get donated, if, get, so if, if they're donated, we do them. Ah. Uh, ah. You know, they're a little too expensive for a rescue to regularly do. Um, but you know, the way I met Kit Kitlin was via streaming on Reddit, and so we had follow, you know, we had followers, and they were like, "Hey, let's," you know, every so often they're like, "Hey, let's don donate a DNA test." So. Oh, that's nice. That's and very nice. Did that for like one of the pups. Well, well, you knew it's always interesting, though, to find out. Yeah, okay. someone's discovering weakness. Ah, you found it. Yeah, that's a fun game. <laughs> ah, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Seriously, is that the first, the first time you've seen that? Yep, that's oh, the first goodness. time they've done that. <laughs> that's so funny. 
Because that better get some water before it gets all out of the bowl. Yep. There was one, we had one stream. Yeah, your paws are nice and wet. <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah. No. Um, where we were inside and we have one of those one, you know, we have one of those like one gallon jugs that feeds into the oh, water sure. bowl. Yeah. And we were on stream and the dogs dog got the entire freaking gallon oh, on our floor. Wasn't that what we had done? I think, that, I think so. Canto? It might have been. She was definitely a water dog. Water dog. Hi. She's like a little bear paw. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Yeah, it must be coming that time. They're slowing down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're slowing down. Over here. Over here. Is there one more someplace? I don't know. They're running around out there. One just came back. Yeah, one is somewhere. How boring. Boring. How done. It's one of the black puppies. Yeah. It's the male black puppy. Uh, I, I want to say that's Jen, I think. I was always better about knowing which one was which when we were, you know, live streaming every day yeah. because you're explaining it to them, sure. saying it's this one and it's Hi. this one. Hi. And here, when we're only streaming once a week oh, yeah. or once every two weeks. And when I'm okay. and when we're not worried about okay. weighing them every day because they're nice and healthy. Right. Yeah. Hello. Hi. 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 Get your jumping feet going. To get your jumping feet going. Hi. Hi. Adventuring, adventuring. Attempts at introductions have not gone well, so we're playing. Better to we're, keep them separate. We're playing Petrus at the moment, aka Crate and Rotate, keeping them always in different rooms. She's a little. She's remained more protective of her pups and defensive of them beyond the age. Mamas are normally quite that defensive. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that's a rock. That's not very edible. Hi, sweet pea. Oh, pounce! <laughs> oh, pin him down, holding on to the ear. Great game. <laughs> we always had um, two dogs at the same time. Because so all the ones that keep yeah. the younger. Yeah, and they, well, you know, oh, always have fun. somebody to hang out with and play with. Yeah. <laughs> it's the 
She's not. She'll jump in as needed. Mm. Last night they were a little local in the middle of the night. Most of the other nights they haven't been. Mm -hmm. A little white chip on her nose. I know. <laughs> Just a little white chip on your nose. Ooh. Got a little bit of white on the rear paws. Yeah. And then that one just has a little bit of white right on the chest. Yeah. Yes. A little stripe going down into they're pretty cute. Hi. Pretty cute. Pretty cute. Lay down and do all that yep. kind of stuff? Yep, they've, they've been good about nail toes. They're a very sweet batch <laughs> of pops. dug a couple of big holes in her yard. Oh, goodness. Mm. Including this one over here. Yeah. That one. Hi. Hi, Pop. Hi, Pop. Oh, <laughs> that didn't work. Yeah, it didn't, oh, work. Yeah, it didn't work out so well. Over here. Over here. You're panting, my goodness. You're just running. Yeah, so fast. Been running so fast. Oh. Hi. 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 Just adorable. Oh, you found a stick. Oh, you found a stick. 
<laughs> they, gra they grabbed some of the irrigation housing yesterday oh. and a long enough piece that all seven of them were playing tug of war with it. Oh, that's so funny. That must have been a riot. Actually, I see it over there, so. Goodness. Oh, Brittany. Oh. Here. I'll see if they want to play with it. Oh, and it's fine. Yeah, see, I'm not the perch. Yeah. There you go. Gonna start a tug of war. Gonna start some tug of war. There we are. There we are. Yep. Let's get tug of war going. <laughs> I'm now inter more interested in the stick now. Hey, Daria, welcome. Yes, they're big, fluffy, and playful. Hi. Okay. With sharp little teethies. Sharp little teethies that you explore the world with. Yes. Then they'll start losing those teeth and get the good ones. Yeah. each other's tails. pre-adopted two two locally one to the northeast if I recall correctly the one to the northeast transports on the 25th and the two locally can be picked up on Wednesday they turn eight weeks on Tuesday so we have a we are going to be doing vaccines on Tuesday as well as their microchips and then they can go home on Wednesday yeah, it's all gone, huh? Well, there's it. still somewhat left. Oh, there's Speaking of which, let me go get another picture. You, you filmed it all. I'm looking to see where Buck would get that cord that dragged it behind the garbage bucket there. Get him. Ow. <laughs> Just thought of that. 
Yeah, I agree. <laughs> There's no reason for that, right? Oh, what could you possibly have that is so exciting? It's either food or water. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Stomachs are only in the size of this. <laughs> so a couple of finger fists. I think their stomachs are the size of their bodies. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> ow. Careful, careful. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't have the time to play chauffeur today. No, you're good. Are you um, this is the Costco brand puppy kibble. Oh. Let me go through a lot. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, right. The howling goes in the nest. Yeah, they're. <laughs> they're like, let us out of the crate. Yeah, games. it's our turn. <laughs> Wet tail, wet paws, wet nose. Diverts the water. Sure. Makes good sense. Makes good sense. So, which ones are going on Wednesday? Um, so, the brown one and who else? Who's the other one that's adopted locally? Um, okay, nurse said. Okay, so Robert is available, Tyler is available, Jen is pending, Mei Lin is adopted, Mei Lin is the white female. Uh. Um, we said there were two two white males and one white female, so the female the white female is adopted. No, other than is. Oh. No. And then Miriam is the brown is the brown female. She's adopted. Okay. She's a beautiful dog. And that's saying Jen is pending, but I, I'm pretty sure Jen is actually already t spoken for. Is spoken for. Do you ever keep puppies longer than eight weeks? Yeah. Um, one of the rescues we foster for they do a ten they 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 do a ten week sure. adoption instead. Uh -huh. um, but generally, the number of volunteers willing to do older puppies is greater than the number of vol volunteers willing to do mama plus young puppies, oh. which is greater than the number of volunteers willing to do pregnant dogs. Yeah. And so, what tends to happen frequently. And we're, we're not doing it this time because a couple weeks later we're gone anyway. Sure. Um, but generally what tends to happen is as we approach eight to nine weeks, 
even if they're not all adopted, we move them to other fosters so we can get the next pregnant mama oh, in. Yeah. Because again, the number of people willing to help through a well thing, which is what it's called for dogs giving sure. birth, is a lot smaller than not this January, but last year, January, we were talking about Basil, the 18 pound pregnant dog mm -hmm. that, you know, her pups are 36 pounds grown at four months. Um, that month, I, I helped three different dogs give birth. Wow. Uh, one, I went to the person's house and two, we were just rotating pregnant dogs through my house sure. to give birth, get a couple of days of stability and then move them to another foster. Oh. Um, to get the next pregnant mama in. Quite a juggling act. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're so cute. They're so cute. Oh, oh hi. <gasps> there you are. <laughs> All wrapped up in the cord. Yeah. So there's all sorts of, you know, there's general purpose fostering, but there's also lots of specialties. There's hot hospice fosters, aka hospice fosters, who specialize in taking in the dogs that might only have weeks or months. To live. There's medical fosters, there's behavioral fosters. You know, some people specialize in the shy, in shy, scared dogs. Others specialize in the boisterous dogs and giving them the training they need to be a little less boisterous. Oh, look at this guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. And then for us, we specialize in the neonates and the pregnant mamas. <laughs> Find some bitey fat face under the grill. We've done the orphans, we've done the pregos, and we've done the mamas who, you know, gave birth in shelter on the street. Of our personal dogs at this point, three of the four were, are what are called foster fails, where you keep your foster. And two of them were, two of them were our mamas. <laughs> And one of them was one of the puppies. Oh my goodness. So this mom, how did you hear about her? So this mom was rescued from a shelter in Mexico where they don't bother feeding the dogs mm -hmm. and they euthanize via electrocution, mm -hmm. which is not considered a valid no. method for euthanasia no. in according to the American Veterinary Medical Association. Um, and there's a woman down there that takes as many of the, gets as many of the dogs out of the shelter as she can. And so she, she got linked with the rescue and we've been trying to support her. And so every so often there is, she'll drive in a, a van of like 18 or 20 dogs up to the border and we have someone to meet them and we have to get them all vetted to cross the border properly and so she came up with another pregnant dog as part of that run and, uh, yeah. and so she was in a boarding facility while we were trying to get our previous litter which was an orphan litter their mama was a stray on property and went on to the next property where there was cattle and was chasing the cattle and so yeah. she got shot yeah so we got seven or they found seven orphans yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> dog was a new toy and then take home no, no, no. he's back there and there you are 
So then will mom stay with you? Or did Ma she we're, we're, tr we're trying to get mom um, to different foster because again, she's not integrating well with our pack. Yeah. Um, so we've been trying to get her to different foster, but the rescue is overcrowded as usual. Too many dogs, not enough places for them to go. Yeah. Well, they did get that up. Oh. She worked on that so hard, oh. and now it's the newest toy. That little cap the, that was there. Yeah, mm -hmm. the, there's a reason I leave a bunch of PVC pipes and caps around. Hi. They last longer than regular dog toys. Yeah. And, yeah. That's, and they're cheap. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah, Athena, our first dog, we lost her last February, February a year ago. Um, she was our first dog, and she would, I mean, she would destroy, she was this little 35-pound dog that would destroy the police, the, the cons rated for police dogs. Yeah. And what we finally found work for her was some PVC pipe. And she, and she, 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 had, she had this bigger, we called it her pet rock, that she liked to carry it around. Cute. Actually, it's not. I am sure that if I just walk out in the shop, there's chunks in there. Yeah. That would be fun. That would They're be all good. piling up. Yep, yeah, we're it's, some. it's bedtime. We're piling up under the grill. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there's one leg. Yeah, it's one pot leg. Pause back there. Yeah. They're not all comfortable, but they seem fine. Yep. Mm. Fine. Must be very, very satisfying for you guys. Yeah. Actually, see the successes and the difference you're making. Yeah. It's all encompassing, yeah, obviously. You know, unfortunately, here in Texas, it's very much the you know the story of the all the starfish wash up, wash up on the beach and the little girl is walking and throwing one back and the person's like, there's too many, you, you can't do it. It's like, but I still made a difference for that one. Yeah. It's yeah. the story, you're right. And so all we can do is make a difference for the ones we can. <laughs> but. Like I just <laughs> got to sleep. He don't fit. Little don't brown fit. ones. Brown yeah. ones. Over there. Sure. Yeah, something he found. Or she found. Yeah. Whatever it is, she's getting oh, really pieces tired. of it and her chewing up. You're tired. So I'm going to start putting them back, and then we'll, yeah. once they're all away, um, I'll let out ours. We'll say hi. Gotcha. That would be a good nap time for them. You guys get your nap time. As soon as you're here, I don't want to go away. Those you can help. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. No. No. Maybe if I just lay here, I'll blend in. Yeah. And nobody will know that I'm here.
You're gonna come out. <laughs> no, I didn't mean you should come out from the room. As we said, we got two that are crawling out of the pen now. Oh. Yeah. Three or come back. Another one. Sleep over here. Hey you. Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. Yep, there they go. Come here. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. You almost need a picture of that. <laughs> oh, so cute. We can stop here in front of the camera for a moment. <laughs> yeah. There it is. And another one's jumped out of the pen. Okay. Yeah. I, I know you, um, you have to go back and look at. Oh. No. Is there a camera there? Oh. Okay. I think that's where we are last. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I will have the other ones out in just a minute. Just oh, okay. Time. See that sprinkler? Yeah. In the barrel bucket? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm trying to figure out how to take it apart. Hi. Oh, look how pretty you are. You. Go go. Go go. Hi, go go. Oh, my goodness gracious. Look how adorable you guys are. They did do a DNA test on her because they thought she was mostly like a or whatever. Mostly chow, right? Yeah, 50 percent chow chow, six percent German Shepherd. Really? Yep. And Mochi, the white one, uh -huh. single biggest genetic contributor, Pitbull. No uh -huh. way. I can't believe that. <laughs> I can't believe it. And then she oh, yeah. This is like a little chip we saw yesterday. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. You're going to come up? Hi. Peppa's saying she wants to stay in her <laughs> pen. That's okay. She, she, like re she remains the nervous Nelly, but is a lot better than she was when we got her. Mm -hmm. uh, she was the mother of our Encanto litter, which is when Caitlin started watching us. Oh. Um, she was a street dog in Houston. So we had temporary, while we were, wait while we were decide waiting to see how many puppies and how many, um, and their genders, we temporarily named her Whitney from Houston. Oh. Um, and Mo Mochi's normally scruffier. We had him trimmed down a bit. Yeah. He's, he's normally very scruffy looking. Um, you, can, you, can, you can just see the start of the scruff coming off him and you see more of it in his face. I'm, I'm in awe of what you were telling me about the stuff. Pitbull does not come across for me. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't know dogs that well, but does not. Hi, oh, nice, sweetheart. Yeah. Hi. Yes. Well, the thing is, is for dogs, so adorable. less than one tenth of one percent of their DNA determines their overall appearance. Wow. Okay, so let me pull up. So where's Go Go? So Go Go is 50% Chow Chow, 10.6% American Pitbull Terrier, 
10% Siberian Husky, 8.6% Labrador Retriever, 8.3% American Cattle Dog, 6.9% German Shepherd Dog, mm. and 5.6% Boxer. So what does she looks like? She looks like what her second smallest breed contributor percentage is. Yeah. And, and when you look at her, she looks like a collie. Yeah. Well, I, I see German Shepherd more yeah, so than German Collie. Shepherd, you're right. Yeah. Um, but then Mochi. That's a white one there. That's this white one here. Again, he normally looks a little bit scruffier, but he came back as 23% American Pitbull Terrier, 17.9% Australian Cattle Dog, 11.6% Basset Hound, 10.4% Boston Terrier. 9% Labrador Retriever, 5.9% Chow Chow, 5.3% German Shepherd, and 16.8% Super Mutt, where Super Mutt included Toy Fox Terrier, Miniature, Pinscher, and Collie. Right and then we did just recently get Go Go, or um, Peppa tested. Um, thanks to one of our Redditors. Um, and let me pull up her results. Again, right now she's being too shy to um, come out, which is her normal way with um, new, new people. She came back as 41% Siberian Husky, 28.7% Super Mutt, where her Super Mutt included Chow Chow, Dachshund, Pekingese, Australian sh and Australian Shepherd. Then she has 10% per 10 Labrador Retriever, 7.9% Sharpe, 6% American, American Pit Bull Terrier, 5% German Shepherd. Wow. We, we did Artemis here years and years ago back on, instead of Embark, at the Wisdom Panel, and back then they'd only give you by eighths, and she came back as I want to say 25% Chihuahua, 12.5% something else, and 62.5% Supermont. Oh, so yeah. So, right. and we've never redone it. No. Right. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. But yeah, Artemis right here is our second dog. We got her in July of 2011. She was estimated to be eight months old at the time. And Mochi's our, our third dog, but he was foster number 311. We, we, we foster failed him, uh, or we got him and his siblings and his mother in March 2020, so just as COVID was hitting. And we foster failed him, and so his mom was foster 310, and he and his siblings were 311 through 318. So he was our first, what we call foster fail. Uh, foster fail is when you adopt your foster animal. The reason rescues call it foster failing is most people will fail on their first, second, or third, oh. and, and stop fostering. Oh. And so on the one hand, it's a success because the animal has a home, okay. but on the other hand, more often than not, the people stop fostering. Oh. And so that's why it's called foster failing. But, you know, he was foster number 311. And 18 months later, we foster failed with Dogo go over there. I know. Now, 18 months later, and she, he was 311 or 318, yeah. somewhere in there. And she was 413. Oh, wow. So 18, right, 18, 18 months, 100 more foster dogs. Now, she's foster fail number two for us. And you can see um, she actually had a dental the other day. So you yeah. can see where she's got her fur shave for the the catheter for the sedation on her leg um, and her nice clean teeth now. Yeah. Um, but she was our foster and with her litter just before Peppa came in. And so Peppa is foster fail number three and she's uh, she was 420, foster 424. Um, but it was 18 months before we foster failed her. Mm -hmm. Initially, no one was interested in her. Again, she's a weirdo. She's scared of people. Doesn't you know? Doesn't show well. 
But then our Athena, our first dog, died, and you know, Peppa was still what had been with us 15 months at that point, and she was a lot less shy with us. Sure. She jumps in the bed, she lies against us, she yeah. wants her pets with us. So we said, yeah, okay, you're never going anywhere. You found home. Yeah. Well, that's true. And, and we've had another hundred since her. It's been about two years for though. Last year was a relatively slow year for us. We only fostered 38 when all was said and done. Wow. We, yeah. we had a couple of very small litters and a couple of medical fosters, which decreased our total numbers, whereas we've already had 25 this year. Yeah. We, we were already at 25 in February. Mm, crazy. Oh. Showing your butt to the camera. <laughs> Out the kibble. It's puppy kibble, so it's a special treat to clean. Uh -huh. he, he, didn't eat, he didn't eat his breakfast this morning. Wow, he knew. Yeah, he's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be able to hoover up the puppy. Yeah. You're usually very bad about that, like making sure you get puppy kibble. I'm just in the process of changing from puppy kibble to adult food. Adult food. Mm -hmm. Precious just turned one, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 When they're white, they're very, very white. Very cute. Yeah. And the one blue eye and one brown eye. Well, except if you look more closely, one eye is three quarters blue and one quarter brown, the other is three quarters brown and one quarter blue. Oh, That's interesting. That flip. Yep. Hey, you want to show off your eyes? No. Oh, I, no. oh, no, I'm not. I'm not. Say hi. Sure. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I see what you're saying. Oh, yeah. Isn't that why? Uh, huh. How beautiful. Yes, it's beautiful. You're just beautiful. Yes, and, you're and beautiful, too. He, yeah. got, he got DNA tested. Two of his siblings got DNA tested, and we actually know there were, were at least two daddies in his litter. Yeah. It's more common with dogs than it is with humans. It can happen with humans, too, where you can have twins be from two separate dads. Yeah. But be, his two siblings showed up as siblings to each other, but as a half sibling to him. Oh, uh, yeah. So we know there were two, there were at least two daddies based on coloration, which is not necessarily a good way of determining things. There may have been three. Mm -hmm. um, but that other sibling never got DNA tested with an embark, so we never know. Yeah. But yeah, so his litter, there were four black puppies, two white puppies, and then um, oh, two black and silver, or two black and silvers? Yeah, two black and silvers. Or was it five blacks and one black and silver? <laughs> After 525 foster dogs and 12, uh, and no. over 525 in 12 years, it sort of, some of it blends a little bit when you're not looking at the pictures. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. I grew up with dogs. Can't you grow up with dogs? We, my wife and I didn't. Really? But Athena was our first dog. Oh, was our first dog in July, in January of 2010. Wow. Oh my goodness. My mom was, my mom was allergic to uh -huh. dogs and cats. Mm -hmm. I'm allergic to cats. Athena was our first, and then Artemis came along a year later in July of 2011, and then in May of 2012 was our first foster. It was a disaster. Mm -hmm. We didn't know what we were doing. They didn't have a foster coordinator at the time. They didn't have any sort of mentorship, and we lasted long enough to save that dog's life, but we returned that dog pretty quickly, but it was enough to help the shelter get, they had achieved no health status a year and a half earlier. Um, and they were tripled up in their kennels and they were going to oh, have to start math, okay. mass euthanizing. They put out a call oh, for help and you know, my wife showed up and we got Molly and Molly was in the euthanasia, 
euthanasia room when my wife showed up. So, I mean, we literally saved her out of the youth room. Yeah. But she did have a couple of medical issues, which is why she was near the top of the youth list is, you know, if we're going to have to put dogs down, why spend money treating them? Um, she didn't get the treatment because we did save her. Um, but, you know, within 24, 48 hours, she was resource guarding my wife from our dogs. And we really didn't know how to handle that at the time, along with a bunch of other behaviors that we didn't have the experience with. We lasted about a week and a half, I think. But that was long enough to get the shelter past its crisis point, and they were able to get Molly to a more experienced foster to help with the medical, deal with the, with the more medical issues. Um, and we went to a different shelter that had foster coordinator who could help us grow our skills. Sure. And so then we got to we got to. Um, Got two little um, weaning age puppies, and then we got three more, and then we got some. Then we got trained on bottle puppies, and we alternate between weaning puppies and bottle puppies for a while. And then our the foster coordinator, who also happened to be the intake coordinator in that shelter, was out in another shelter. That 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 second shelter that really helped us grow our skills is a private shelter. Oh, they're not a public, they're not sure. open intake. Right. They pull from other shelters, they're a private facility. And so she had, sh she had shown up at one of the public ones to pick up some, to pick up some, and there was a dog that had given birth overnight oh, to geez. four puppies. And we, we had a huge cold, we had a huge cold, we had a three day cold spell where it was between 16 and 18 every day wow. and she had given birth on a cold stone floor overnight one of the pups no one knew when she was pregnant one of the puppies um, was dead when they came in so it was her and three puppies and our foster coordinator called us and said can i place this mom and three newborns with you um and she did but it did not work out um everyone died including mm -hmm. mama mm -hmm. within a week so my wife told her we needed a happy tail Pun, in, pun intended. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and we had three new, we had three new weaning age puppies a day and a half later. Yeah. After mom died. Yeah. And so those were our first deaths. Unfortunately, not anywhere near our last. We averaged losing four per year after that, up until 2020, in which we set a new record by losing nine in a year. Oh my goodness. And then 2021. We lost 37. Oh. And if you look, if you include December of 2020 through October of 2021, that nine month period, we lost 40. Yeah. Oh. And then the next year, we lost 12. Last year was great. We only lost two. Yeah. That's all I got. Yeah. But I mean, you're working with, you know, we're working with neonates. Of, yeah. Don't have a perfect. Hey, accomplished wolf. Hey, defiant. Hey, ask cone. So we just got three red three oh, more okay. redditors joining us. They're like, we didn't miss it. Um, accomplished wolf. I'm afraid the puppies are away, but we do have the adult dogs out now. Puppies did fall asleep, and you have um, you have it's KB, Caitlin, Caitlin, Caitlin yeah. KB 22, 22, 22, something, something like that. Um, so and her mother. <laughs> So we just got three new redditors joining in. S S Cone 42 is a woman who has donated most of the DNA tests to us. So always a big thank you for that. And she donates a lot off of our Amazon wish list. We're always getting puppy food and other stuff from her, but also she she's donated the most of the DNA kits, including the one for Peppa that she told us to use oh, for yeah. Peppa, even yeah. though Peppa's ours rather than a rescue. So uh, thank you to her. But yeah, you know, I was talking about the fostering specialties and the hospice fosters, the hospice fosters that, you know, I originally thought that's something we could never do. And then I learned what the sort of mortality rate could be in neonates. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely. Although interestingly, I, I was looking this up 
because of a couple of Reddit posts recently. It's e it's even worse for cats. Really interesting. Depending upon the study, orphan kittens under human care can have a 12 to 40 percent mortality rate. Wow, that's huge. Do you have any idea what the cause would be from that? No. And, but even 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 with even with non-orphan kittens, um, you can see twenty percent mortality by year by by year one. <laughs> by the by the time they're one year old, you can see up to a twenty percent mortality rate, and it, it's higher in pe it's higher in um, pedigree cats than oh, in mixed. Huh. But with with um, puppy litters. There was a study in Norway, 10,810 litters, 224 different breeds of dogs, over 100,000 puppies in the study, and 23% of litters on average had this, had a stillborn. Wow. And by the end of week two, 25%, including those stillborns, would have had a mortality by the end of week two. Wow. And you know, these, these were all dogs with breeders getting good, theoretically good health care. Yeah. Um, listen, listen. much, much less what we see in rescue. Yeah, yeah. Those are I mean, outrageous in, in, statistics. In, in, uh, well, that's why they have yeah. so many. Yeah. Nature finds a way. Yeah. As what, what was, what, who, who uh, that was, uh, Ian Malcolm, I think, in Jurassic Park that said that nature finds a way. Oh, yeah. That it does. That it does. Mm. But yeah, I, I was pulling up those statistics uh, for the kittens in the last week or two because of some posts on r slash pet loss and r slash ask vet saying what, you know, what happened to my kittens. Wow. Yeah, nice, sweetheart. On YouTube. On YouTube. Yeah. I know, I know. I know. She's like, love me, love me. Yeah, I will. Hi. Look at that tail go. Huh. Oh, yeah, now go go jealous. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. I'm, I don't blame you. I'm down. Hi. I don't blame you. You know, you, even though she's hiding in her crate right now with Peppa, okay. at least with us in the bedroom at night, we'll have her mochi. Gogo, Mochi, and Peppa are all in the bed fighting for our attention. Oh. <laughs> Artemis not so much anymore. You know, a little bit of arthritis doesn't jump on the bed quite as much anymore. Sure. We just upgraded to King, so there's more room for the dogs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's interesting because they they take up whatever they space. And then they some. Can. Yeah. Remember, you used to take care of that great thing. Yeah. Oops. Yes, accomplished yeah, wolf. Sure. Gogo -Go had um, a, t a dental on Thursday, so very good catch on the shaved leg. We've made some very good friends on Reddit over the years. Yeah, it's a fun um, connection. Hi. But enough to notice. Oh, hey, she's got a shaved leg. We wish did she have some? Yeah. Veterinary work. Yeah. Smart dog. Backed out of that spot perfect. Yeah. It's like more puppy kibble. More puppy kibble. I love it. I love it when the puppies are messy. I love it when the puppies are messy. And then you get the cleanup poo. You don't clean up poo come in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's really a treat, you know, because it's got more fat in it. So. Yeah. You know, mom, more of the mamas tend to be like me, you know, who was out earlier, where they tend to be very protective of their pups when they're younger than four to five weeks old, usually. Yeah. Go go here. She came in with her. She had ten when she when she arrived to us, and she'd actually had twelve in the parking lot at, outside an apartment complex, and they called animal control. Two were already dead when animal control got there. Um, we ended up losing three of hers, um, but normally the moms are very defensive towards the pup. 
got to keep the rest of our dogs away for, you know, till the pups are four to five, sometimes six weeks old. This is the first mama we haven't been able to introduce when they're almost eight weeks. Um, but Gogo would come and grab mochi and bring mochi to her puppies. And so she'd, she'd, be, she'd be licking one end while Mochi was licking the other. She was, she was one of the worst mamas we had. She, she, did, she did have a tick-borne illness, so she wasn't producing good milk, which we had had to swap her puppies to bottle feeding, tube feeding, and we walked them. Because four, four became critical within like two or three days of arriving. And so it's like, okay, let's start running her test panels while we start getting all the formula made up. and. Some of the pups are so weak, we had to tube feed them. Um, but, you know, I, I get the tube feeding, my wife gets the bottle feeding um, when we're in that situation. Um, and, you know, we saved seven of them, so. But, yeah, she, she'd go and bring Mochi to her two-week-old puppies. Wow, yeah. Whereas most of them are like, I don't want to see you within my eyesight of my puppies. There's a reason, despite the fact that we have no kids, we have so many baby gates in the house. Yeah. That I don't. Uh, I think, you know, baby gates have a purpose. All right. Hey, go, go. You enjoying your nice shiny tape now? I know, yeah. I didn't know that. Okie dokie. Head back into town. Yeah. Okay, let me go. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go shut off the stream. Thank you all for joining us for the last hour. And Accomplished Wolf, Escone, Defiant Jazz, you can all go, and you can all go back in the stream um, and see the puppies. They were out playing and cuddling with everybody for a while. I will be right back. Hi, Mochi. Were you on a picnic? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hello. You're so pretty. Hi. Do you mean nose? Right. No. Nose.